A Nightmare Wakes is a brand new 2021 Shudder original, and it is a new spin on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, kind of told from Mary Shelley's perspective, and this is a period piece. And, um, I mean, as far as the story goes, we follow Mary Shelley, and we follow a romantic relationship that she is in with a man who is very questionable and she's trying to write um, and her life starts to become chaotic. I mean, I don't really want to get too crazy into it, but um, this is definitely not going to be for most people, in my opinion. This is a very slow burn. Uh, period piece and it's going to be aimed at a very specific target and I was not that target this is, um, I always tell people all the time I'll watch pretty much anything I mean I'm pretty easy to date in that way people you know I'll, I'll be with a girl and she'll be like hey you want to watch blank and I'll be like yeah sure whatever you know I'm, I'm up for it for the most part uh, there's very few exceptions to that rule you know um, and even then, I'm still possibly able to be talked into watching such a thing. Um, and I mostly like what I watch if it's good and, and entertaining. Um, but one of the things that I've always struggled with is like slower burn period pieces where it's mostly just like set in a house and everyone is talking and like an old English accent and um, everything's very high class and snooty and there's lots of romance and dialogue that I'm not interested like those kinds of movies you know uh, Kira Knightley stars in a few of those kinds of movies that I'm talking about uh, I, I, I think you know which ones that I'm referring to um, but like a Pride and Prejudice something like that um, that shit just bores the fuck out of me those movies now that being said i've always said that i will give those movies credit where credits deserved and the credit is deserved in the filmmaking the acting the cinematography the costume design you know all that stuff is top notch typically so on you know from a technical level, I can sit there and be like, I'm not going to say it's a bad movie. I mean, those are very well-made films, but I personally just don't find any entertainment in them. So I find myself to be bored and that's not what I watch films for. This film has a very similar kind of, you know, um, opinion coming from me. It's, it's lower budget and that's, that can, that, that shows, but I think the acting is quite good. Um, you know, with the budget they had, I think they did a pretty good job of creating the look of the time um, and the kind of dreary atmosphere that it's going for. I feel like it, it lands. Um, it's more of like a character study or even maybe a mental illness, uh, you know, study. And I just... It wasn't that I wasn't into it at all. I liked some of the exploration of this possible mental breakdown that we're watching. And we don't really know exactly what's going on here. But I think anybody who goes into this expecting like a monster film, a creature feature, any of that kind of stuff, you're not getting any of that here at all. This is very much a woman who's writing a novel and then she gets into this relationship with this guy and then she starts to have a little bit of a break mentally and it's hard to decipher reality from the fiction she's created in her head and a lot of the movie is like her having nightmares hence the title and waking up from them um, but of course I think the title is more of like a double entendre where we have that element but we also have the element of, of the whole events of like you know waking up from a nightmare metaphorically um, but yeah I, I just 
I think it's a fine film. But I think it's going to bore the shit out of most people like it did me. Unless you're into these kinds of films that are really focused on like one character, period piece, slow dialogue, not a ton happening, so to speak, then this isn't going to be for you. Um, I have the target audience in my mind. <laughs> what a, Who I think is going to like these. This, this kind of film, but it's very, very few people that I would be aware of. Um, but it's still well made you know, for what it is. So I'm not sitting here saying it's shit. It's just, yeah, this is, this is not one I could recommend to you guys. My audience. My audience. I think that's what it really comes down to. Maybe a couple of you, but not many. I know what you guys... Um, I know what most of you guys like. And this ain't it. <laughs> So there you go. It's on Shutter, but so if you want to check it out, and this is your kind of film, but for me, yeah, didn't have fun. So, anyways, let me know. Adios.